Hello, this is Dave, and this video was going to be about doing the FPV system, but instead I decided to go ahead and upgrade the servos on the wings to Metal Gear servos. And also, you can see here, I've added some LEDs. So I'm going to show that, and also how to laminate the wings. So let's get started. This is me, RC. So first step, let's replace the tail servos with some of these Emacs ES08MA-2s. Okay, just taking out the servo screws. I got one out, there's another. Let's move the servo out. There it is. I'll probably put an extension on the other end like this so that I don't lose it inside the fuselage. Okay, so just putting on the extension that I talked about. These are really a tight fit. There we go, now the extension's on, so when I pull it back inside, I won't lose it. I hate it when I lose it. Okay, almost got it out. There it is. Hey, look at that. Look how they kind of knotted that together so they won't unplug. Pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and undo that and get the servo loose. There we go. It's all loose. Now let's just install the new one. Okay, so I'm going to try to make the same knot that they did. And plugging it in. Making sure the white wire and yellow wire. Yep, everything looks good. Alright. Let's just stuff it back in the hole. And then I'll pull the wire from the front. There it goes. Alright, it's in. Now we'll put the servo back in. There we go. And now I can just put the same screws back in that were in it to start with. Now I'll just take the fish wire off it. And plug it into the servo tester. And we'll center it up. All I need to do is plug in a battery. All right. Let's go to neutral. Now it's centered, and we'll go ahead and put the servo arm on it. All right, just putting in the servo screw. I'm going to go ahead and laminate the tail section with some of this laminating film. It's 1.7, I believe is the thickness. I won't bore you with too much of this, but I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. It's pretty easy to do. Just lay down the film and then iron it on. Got the setting on about halfway. Now when going around the corners, you need to cut some slits into the lamination just to let it fold over so kind of like that and then it can fold over easily like this so that's all I'm doing now that's the basic technique now you can see where I'm just folding the pieces I cut over and laminating on the back pulling away from the edge and once you get all the way around can do the same thing from the back or actually from the top side I'll put another layer on the top side that wraps around the back and that's pretty much it now I won't be laminating the elevator you know the actual control surface I'm just gonna leave that alone that could be done if you wanted to but I usually don't I just laminate the leading edge where it might hit something alright so now I got the vertical stabilizer done as well and a little tip here, if you see a bubble anywhere in the lamination, you can just take a needle and pop a hole in the bubble and then iron it down. For the elevator, the control horn goes on the bottom like that and the plate goes on the top. And then we just have to put in the four screws these four screws that came with the kit. It's nice the way they got the control horn going across the spar 
gives it extra strength. Okay, now just tightening up all four screws now that I got them in there. Now you can just look at the other side and that's the way the top side looks. Now for the rudder, the control horn goes on the left side facing forward like this. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt that one on. That's how the elevator looks. So you can see the two control horns right here. Now it's time to bolt the two sections together with the screws that came in the kit. Just two screws will hold the tail section together here. Then there's four more to hold it onto the fuselage. I fed the Easy UHF antenna through the slot that I made into the vertical stabilizer right here. And I'll just go ahead and put some more lamination over that later. And now I'm going to be putting in the four screws that hold the whole tail assembly onto the fuselage. So just get these four screws in and that'll hold the tail on. I'll be putting the control rods on later after I finish the plane. So I put some laminating film over the antenna right now. And I think now's a good time to go ahead and put on the decal right over the top of it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, I'm just going to go with that. I'm committed now. <laughs> so there we go. It's on there. And that sort of hides the antenna. Not completely, but pretty good. Kind of like that. Well, the laminating film really made putting the decals on easier because if I got them on with a wrinkle, I could actually peel the decal back from the laminating film, take out the wrinkle, and then lay it back down. But it really sticks good to the laminating film, yet it can be peeled back and reapplied, at least for a few minutes. So it came out pretty smooth I think. So there's the decals. Notice I had to bring the decal right up to the very edge. The very front edge. And uh, it just barely fit along this edge too. So it's a very tight fit. Okay so next I'm going to replace the aileron servos and then go ahead and laminate the wings. Just a little piece of tape holding the wire down. Okay, now I'm just going to uh, cut around the servo with a knife and then pry it up with a screwdriver. And replace it with the new one. And glue it in with a little bit of foam tack. Okay, I got the foam tack on and now I'm just going to glue the servo in place. Okay, I'm just going to put the piece of vinyl tape back on there. I didn't have any more Emacs servos, or at least not enough to change the flap servos. But I figure they'll be alright. They're just going to be operating the flaps, which aren't that large. So I'm just going to use the stock servo for the flaps. Alright, doing the same thing to the other wing. Just peeling off the vinyl tape. Then I'll go ahead and cut around this servo. Prying out the servo. Just letting the foam tack dry for a few seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and put the servo in. Run the wire. And then I'll go ahead and put the uh, tape back on. I've decided to go ahead and mount some LEDs on the front edge of the wings. I've cut a slit right along the front edge and I'm going to put these in facing forward. So kind of sideways like this but facing forward. So I'll have a red strip on the left and a green strip on the right. Alright, let's test them out. Make sure they light up. Now these LEDs protrude out a little bit so they won't go right down into the slot easily so I think I'm gonna to have to widen the slot with a barbecue skewer just go down in there and drag this along make sure that slots wide enough and I found I need to give the LEDs a little help going into the slot by using a barbecue skewer to just kinda of wallow a little opening around them and then just push them down in there you can see how I've already done this 
section right here. Now I'm also adding some parallel wires here to go through the wing and I'm going to put a small strip on the bottom in three different places. Just sort of aviation stripes. So I'll have three of them on the bottom. I've got the last set of wires or the third set soldered on the end here coming through the bottom. So there's the aviation stripes on the bottom right there. And then on the front edge we have the red. There were a couple of LEDs that I lost here because a resistor fell off. So I lost three, a set of three right there, but it still looks good. And here is the right hand wing in green. So just finishing up laminating the wings and I'm putting the lamination right over the top of the LEDs here. So that seals them in so no water can get in there and makes a nice smooth surface for the air to go over. Alright now just cutting the flaps loose. A little bit on the angle on this side. Alright, here it is laminated with the lights on. Look at that shine. Here's underneath. All the lights are underneath the lamination film. Really looks sharp. LEDs installed. Lamination on, decals applied. And now I have the control rods installed on the servos. And I've also put the control rods onto the tail section as well. As you can see right here. So it looks like the plane is all done, but not quite. Stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to go over making sure all the control surfaces move in the right directions both in manual mode and stabilized mode using the Pixhawk flight controller. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notify checkbox. Thanks for watching.